Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this special 1829 talk. My name's Jack, I'm an nature ranger working for the Natural History Society of Northumbria and together with my colleague Julie, I'm working on the brand new project, How to Be a Young Northeast Naturalist. And our aim for this project is to engage and enthuse children from all over the Northeast with our beautiful Northeast nature. Now, engaging young people in nature is something that's embedded within the history of NHSN. If we travel back to 1902, NHSN members put on a series of Christmas talks by Lantern Life in the Hancock Museum. Now, children from Newcastle and the surrounding area came to these talks and got enthused about nature. And I guess this all started with John Hancock, who was the founder and driving force between, behind what is now the Great North Museum, Hancock. And John Hancock was just a boy when he discovered his foot, when he first discovered his love for Northeast nature. Now here's a short video about his life. Now, Hancock's legacy is still being felt today. Those Christmas lectures led by Lantern Light now give their name to our Lantern Fund Appeal, which provides learning opportunities to young people from across the Northeast, and it focuses on those that need them most. And here at NHSN, we feel strongly that it's more important than ever to promote nature-based learning. Children are increasingly disconnected from nature, and children from across the Northeast are those that are least likely to spend time outdoors when compared with people from across England. This can have a detrimental impact on a children's mental well-being, their physical well-being, and also their overall development. These impacts have only been compounded by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, and they also play into the wider climate crisis that we're experiencing and the general anxieties that go along with it. Thankfully though, we have the perfect tonic and that can be nature-based learning. 
Experiences with nature have actually been shown to promote learning and also improve general well-being, including mental health. We feel that experiences with nature will also give young people the tools and desire to protect the nature that they find on their doorstep. And thanks to generous funding from the National, Lot Lot the National Lottery Heritage Fund, we are now able to deliver the project, How to Be a Young Northeast Naturalist, during which we're going to provide people from across the Northeast with valuable nature-based learning. I'm now going to hand you over to my colleague, Julie, who will run you through the project in a little bit more detail. Hi everyone, I'm Julie, and as Jack said, I'm a nature ranger working with him on this project, How to Be a Young Northeast Naturalist. We are both honoured to be working on such an important project at the moment to engage over 200 children in the Northeast with um, their natural environment. And again, as Jack said, this has all been made possible by the National Lottery Heritage Fund, which we are extremely grateful for. So the project is we're working with five schools across the Northeast, um, this time in Northumberland and Newcastle. The project will begin with a very special launch event at the Hancock Museum. During the launch event, we'll explain to the children exactly what the project entails. They will be able to take part in some nature activities with our volunteers from Gosforth Nature Reserve and receive their very own goodie bag full of lots of books and things to get them engaged with their natural environment and begin becoming a Northeast naturalist over the Easter holidays. Over the past couple of months, we've been extremely busy. We've been working on um, collating resources for the launch and for our planning. We've booked buses, we've visited schools, we have um, purchased camera traps, um, we've made connections with Mammalware, Wild Intrigue, Newcastle University, and got to know the volunteers at Gosforth Nature Reserve who are going to help us deliver a lot of our sessions during this project. Um, we have secured room bookings, we've messed around in the nature reserve setting our own camera traps and had lots of fun along the way. After the Easter holidays we will carry out sessions each week for nine consecutive weeks in each school. The sessions will be bespoke co-created lessons that have been um, developed from surveys pre-pandemic small focus groups and our communication with the children and the teachers from each of the schools. Um, we want to make sure that when we deliver the project that it's exactly what the teachers and the children want, linked to their curriculum needs, but also the children's individual wants and needs about what they really want to learn about Northeast nature and how to be a young Northeast naturalist. In order to embed the connect, children's connection with nature, we're running CPD sessions and continual professional development with teachers, support staff from the five schools that we're working with. This is to give teachers the, um, the, the confidence in order to teach nature-based activities teaching them how to use camera traps if they didn't already, getting them out into the wild themselves, out into the outdoors, to understand the importance of just mindfulness and how important the outdoors is for mental well-being as well. As well as that, we are opening up Gosford Nature Reserve in the summer to our families of the young children that we'll be working with so that they can get outdoors and we can really try to embed this um, nature and how important it is to get children engaged at such a young age and get them outdoors. The project will end with a celebration event at the Hancock Museum as well, where the children will receive their I am a young Northeast naturalist certificate and have a nice time at the end of the project. But we don't just want this to be a 10 week project. We want this to be 10 sessions where we work with the children to inspire their love of nature, their local environment, but their desire to protect their natural world in the future. Thanks for that little rundown of the project, Julie. Um, we thought that we would end the talk on a casual note, 
and have a little Q&A with each other so that you can get to know us a little bit better and maybe learn a bit more about the project itself as well. So let's start with you, Julie. What have you enjoyed most about the project so far? Um, I definitely think the most enjoyable thing was setting up our camera trap. I hadn't set up a camera trap before and I'm sure lots of the children won't have. Um, it was easy, it was fun, we had a good laugh doing it. But then the most exciting part was when we received, um, or we took the camera trap down and we had a look at the pictures that our camera had taken of all sorts of wildlife. We had fox, we had squirrel, we had deer, and it was just, it was just amazing. And I can't wait for the children to get involved and feel that excitement as well. Um, what about you? What are you most looking forward to when we're doing this project? Oh, um... I'm looking forward to so many different things, but I think most of all, um, and it probably comes off the back of your excitement from the camera trapping, I'm excited to do that with all of the young people we're gonna be working with. Um, I think camera trapping is a really amazing and exciting thing to do because not many of us might have access to them. So being able to give each school a camera trap that they might, might be able to use going, forward will be amazing um i think it's a great legacy and it's just really exciting getting those pictures of the wildlife that lives all around us but we might not see it that often i think it's really exciting and engaging and i can't wait to see the looks on all of the young people's faces when like julie they see what what has been out and about around them um, yeah so i think camera trapping and just working with the young people in general is going to be so exciting and I can't wait to get going. I agree. Um, so what's your favourite thing about nature, Julie? Well, I was by no means an expert when I started this project, as you know, and I've learned so much from Jack as we've gone along. Um, but I think one of my favourite things is being out in the reserve and um, just watching the birds, just relaxing, listening and enjoying just being outdoors. And that it's not just at the reserve, you know, when I'm taking my dog out for a walk, I'm loving the sounds that I hear in nature that I hadn't even noticed before. And it's all from doing this project and learning from it. And I think it's gonna be very important for the children to realize what's actually out there that they might not have noticed before. What about you? Oh, again, it's kind of hard to choose just one. Um, I think a big thing for me is sort of the sense of belonging and the sense of home that I find when I'm out and about in nature. Um, I'm originally from the Midlands and being quite far away from home can be quite hard sometimes, but if I go out and about in the woods or along the coast and hear familiar bird song or see familiar plants and animals, then I immediately feel at peace and at home. And I love sharing that with others as well. And um, seeing the joy on people's faces when they find something interesting or exciting in our natural world is just amazing. And I think that's something that we both want to bring to the project itself. Um, giving young people ownership of Northeast nature and the tools to study it or draw it or paint it and also protect uh, northeast nature and it's just so important what jack's just said there that you can notice nature wherever you are and feel at home with it yeah definitely and i think it's something that as we said before it's embedded in the past of, of an nhsn it's embedded within our history but it's also embedded in our present and also it's going to be embedded in at the future of NHSN as well. And I think that's so exciting and so valuable. And yeah, we're just honored to be involved in this. And again, a big thank you to the National Lottery for making this all possible. Thank you.